this is Ami Megani. eDrawings and eDrawings Professional has always been a great tool for file sharing with departments and clients that may not be SolidWorks users. You can still use the measure tools, the section, and the markup tools to explore the design. New in 2017 is the ability to open other file types. We can open a step file, IGES file, CATIA v5, Autodesk Inventor, or 3D XML file. Let's go ahead and open this Inventor file. I can manipulate this Inventor file just like I would any other eDrawings file or native SolidWorks file. Here you can see I've opened the battery pack. I can also take measurements using the measure tool. Another new enhancement is the ability to open eDrawings files as read-only. This is set as an option so that every time you open an eDrawings file, it will open as read-only. Another new enhancement in 2017 is the ability to password protect your files. Previously, this was only a capability in eDrawings Professional, but now they've expanded it to the free version as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at this capability on a mobile device. We're looking at my Android phone. Uh, I've downloaded eDrawings from the Google Play Store. You can get the standard version for $2 and you can get the eDrawings professional version for about $6 or $7 more than that. Let's go ahead and take a look at eDrawings. When you download and install eDrawings from the Google Play Store or the App Store for an iPhone, uh, you get some files pre-populated in there with some native SolidWorks files as well as some eDrawings files. The other nice thing is that you get a really crisp preview. It doesn't look crisp to you because I'm projecting my phone on my PC wirelessly. Um, and then I've also downloaded some files from my email and that goes into another folder. I have the Myomo Pro eDrawings assembly, and I also have a swing line stapler assembly. You'll notice the swing line stapler assembly, I don't get a thumbnail preview, and that's because this file is password protected. So let's go ahead and try to access this file by entering the password. Now I can view my swing line stapler assembly, and I see all the tools that I'm used to having on my PC. I can press the play button to toggle through all the standard views. I can press the house icon to go back to the original view. Now there is a little bit of a delay because I'm, I'm projecting this wirelessly from my phone. I'm going to go to the exploded view. I can also access the parts list. For example, I can highlight the contact plate and collapse that and see that item highlighted in the graphics area. All these tools within the app are not new. The app has been around for a while. It's the password protection that's new for 2017. But if you're seeing this app for the first time, I just wanted to show you that these tools are available. The rendering is very crisp. You can't see that on your screen right now, but it is beautiful. I would say it might even be better than what's on my PC. I'm Ami Megani. Thank you for watching.